Ho, 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 buen camino. I'm Doug, and this is a special holiday edition of Camino 2020, where we're going to talk about some good gifts and stocking stuffers for the Camino Pilgrim in your life. All right, greetings and welcome to Camino 2020, the section of my channel devoted to preparing for the Camino de Santiago. If you're into the Camino or just hiking stuff and gear reviews in general, why don't you hit subscribe and click the bell notification if you are interested in getting updates on future videos. All right, it is the holidays and it is probably time to start thinking about that Christmas wish list. And what I wanted to do today is just go over some of what I consider to be the best gifts for Camino pilgrims. And I'll put links to where you can get these items down in the description below. Now, before I get into the individual items, I just want to give you some general advice. So first, I want to say that packing for one's Camino is a very personal activity. There are a lot of gear choices to be made, and it all has to work together in a system. Added to that, you have the difficulty of getting the exact right size on certain items. So I would just caution you against getting very specialized items unless they specifically asked for it, like on a wish list or a gift registry or something. A better idea might be to just give them an Amazon gift card or an REI gift card, maybe with an REI membership, and just let them go to town. But if you're like me and like many people and you would like to give a Camino Pilgrim an actual physical gift that they can unwrap, here are what I think are some of the best options. Now, of course, anything that a pilgrim needs on the Camino would make a great gift. And that could be anything from chapstick to airfare. So the way I came up with my list was I tried to pick things that were just generally useful to anybody walking the Camino. Second, I wanted to make sure that these were not super expensive items. The more expensive the gift is, the more likely it is to fall into one of those categories where you just don't want to do it unless you're given a very specific item. All right, so Santa's got his holiday stuff sack. Let's see what's in here. The first thing in the sack is something that is going to be very meaningful, but also something that basically all pilgrims have, and that is the Camino shell. Now, I've done other videos on why this shell is important, but the nice thing about it is that nearly all of them are about the same. They're not typically shells that get super personalized. So what makes them meaningful is that they were given to the pilgrim by somebody. What's next? Ah, a luggage scale. Now I admit, this seems like kind of a weird gift, but believe it or not, weighing your gear and weighing your total pack is a pretty important part of the process for those who are concerned about going at least fairly lightweight. And especially if you're going to really dial in your kit using an online app like GearGrams or Lighter Pack, you need to have very accurate measurements of the gear you're bringing. So this is a great gift to give somebody as they are planning for their Camino. And the next item we have that nearly all pilgrims need is an adapter plug. This is a type E or F plug that adapts a typical American power plug into the type of plug they will be using in France or Spain. Now, some of them include USB plugs, which is really nice if you're gonna be charging a phone or some kind of MP3 player, anything with Bluetooth, um, and all you need is a USB, you can plug this into the wall and bam, you're good to go. This is something that basically all Camino pilgrims need if they're gonna bring anything that ever needs to be recharged. Next up is a credential. This is also known as a pilgrim's passport that the pilgrims bring along with them to the different albergues where they stay or churches and other places. And they get it stamped as they go. And this is what gets them into albergues and it makes a really cool souvenir when the pilgrimage is over. Now you can get these from a couple of different places and they sometimes take a while. So I'd be careful about trying to get this as a Christmas gift. However, if I may make a recommendation, the place where I got my credential from also sells a form-fitted waterproof cover so that you can just slip this inside and now you've got waterproofing so that this very important document stays dry. And I actually got this for free when I ordered the next item on my list, which is a Camino guidebook. They range from being very small 
little colorful guides, all the way up to pretty hefty full-size books. Sure, there are plenty of websites out there, including my own, that help you plan your Camino, but there's just something about having a book that you can mark up and write in and highlight that I think makes the experience a lot more real. And speaking of books, there's other great books out there that various pilgrims have written. Uh, this is a, a fairly famous one called It's About Time by Johnny Walker, or maybe To Walk Far, Carry Less by Jean Ashmore who, although she quotes the unfortunate 10% rule, uh, has written a very good book on lightweight backpacking. Getting a Camino Pilgrim books to read before they go to the Camino also has the added benefit of not giving them more things that they need to carry. Next in the bag. Ah, yes. This is the Sea to Summit clothesline. And what makes this clothesline interesting is that it does not require the use of any kind of pins or clips. It uses a double-stranded clothesline with beads that trap individual items in between the fibers. And so what you do is you put something in between the two strings, slide the bead down, and it traps it into the clothesline. It comes in its own little pouch that it does not detach from, which allows you to attach it very easily by these little clips to just about anything, bed posts, another clothesline, or your backpack. And so you have your own clothesline without having to bring any extraneous materials, and it weighs less than one ounce. Next, I have a couple of water bottle clips. Now, this is somewhat personalized because it all kind of depends on what is being carried. However, a lot of hikers and pilgrims are coming around to the idea of just grabbing a smart water bottle putting the smaller size bottle cap on it so that you have a pour spout and taking this with you on your hikes and even on the Camino. These are super lightweight, they cost about a dollar and you get a liter of water in something that'll fit in just about any normal backpack pocket. However, if you don't wanna carry it in the pocket and you want some greater access, you can get one of these water bottle clips. This is the Aqua Clip by z -Packs. It just snaps onto the neck and then this part slides into your shoulder strap and it just gets carried right here. Another version is a carabiner with a silicone ring that snaps around the neck and then that just hangs off your belt or off your pack anywhere you want to. Next I have one of the greatest pieces of hiking gear available on the market and that is the Humble Buff. It's basically a piece of material in a circle that can be used as some kind of sweatband, scarf, hat, sweat rag, the Buff is an amazing piece of gear. They're not too expensive, and they actually make one that has a Camino map on it, which is pretty darn cool. You can't have too many. This is a surefire win for anybody that is hiking the Camino. Next, I have a little box of what I'm calling Camino Bling. And where I got this idea for a little Camino Bling was from some rosaries that I saw that were made specifically for the Camino. In other words, the little pieces of the rosary were actually made of items that reminded people of the Camino. So for example, the major beads are little shells. The crucifix is a St. James cross, and the centerpiece is a little shell with a St. James cross on it as well, and the back of it is a St. James medal. And speaking of medals, of course, you can always get St. Bernard, the patron saint of hikers, or a St. James medal as well. Now, all of these can be strung up on like maybe a little red uh, paracord or put together on a chain. You can make a bracelet, you can make a little necklace, or maybe just a little doodad to hang off of the backpack. It adds virtually no weight to the kit, and it can be a little physical reminder of loved ones back home. All right, my last suggestion for some nice Camino Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers is one of my favorite items from one of my favorite companies, and that is the z -Pax toothbrush. One of the big jokes about ultralighters is that they cut their toothbrushes in half. This pack is indeed a half toothbrush. However, it comes with the other half. So you can just slide these together and then you've got a full-size toothbrush. It also comes with a very tiny toothpaste bottle that can be refilled from a larger one once you're out where you're going. The entire z -Pax kit weighs 0.7 ounces and it only costs five bucks. Pro tip, if you're gonna get the z -Pax Aqua Clip, get them both at the same time because the shipping will be combined. All right, I hope that this video has helped you prepare for your holidays and given you some good ideas for the Camino Pilgrims in your life. If it has, would you mind giving the video a like? And again, subscribe to the channel if you're into Camino and hiking stuff. Until next time, happy holidays. I'm Doug, Buen Camino.